Hello, this is Judd from Motorlands, and I'm here today with our 1948 Ford Convertible. This is a lovely car. Great for summertime cruising. I'm just going to do a walk around the exterior here so you can get a good look at it. You can see the trim is very straight. And it's like that all the way around the car. Bias ply, wide white tires, in good, good condition. A little bit of residue here, it's not not a scratch or a ding in the paint. This door handles always, these 40s Fords always sit a little off. the undercarriage here. Very clean car. Got dual exhaust with V8 written on that tip forward on the other. The bumpers are straight, very clean. Hand painted Ford letters. You can see there's a little ding in the trim right there. So, a little dust kicked up. No scratches or chips. Window rubber, vent window is in good shape. Windshield seal is, is showing its age. Just a little bit there. These mirrors have a wonderful shape to the arm. Really nice. This is very straight, some light pitting on there. The grill is very good and some light pitting, but it's straight. And the front bumper is straight and clean as well. The super deluxe V8 ornament is pitting right there.
and next we'll move along to the interior. Here we are on the interior of our 48 Ford convertible. See the door cards are very nice. The windows all blind smoothly. They're geared very low. It takes a lot of cranks to make them go up and down, but they are smooth. And of course the crank out vent windows. See the rubber vinyl floor mat. We do have a heater in this car. The heater core is hooked up, although the blower does not work. And the upholstery is very nice. And as you, this car had front seat belts added as well. There are lap belts for the driver and the passenger. They're sort of tucked into the seat right now. The back seat's in great condition. Again, the windows roll up and down smoothly. Oop, I had the tonneau cover over that a little bit. The top is in very nice shape. It's a tan canvas top. It is manual. The uh, pieces to make it power hydraulic are included with the car. However, they are com removed from the car right now and the top is very easy to put up and down manually. A very nice decorative dash. The clock does work and it keeps time. It's the original radio, which does not work. You can see the controls for the heater and the cigarette lighter choke. We've got the speedometer there, indicated 17,218 miles. Gauges, temperature, battery, oil pressure, and fuel. And down here we've got the hood release, parking brake, starter button. This is the uh, headlights and the hand throttle. And this car also has had turn signals added, as you can see. Steering wheel is very nice. It does have a wrap around it. Visors. Got a clip-on mirror on the passenger visor. And this one always starts right up at the press of the button. Turn the key to on. Make sure you're in neutral, and just hit the starter button. Fires right up and settles into a nice idle. And see, I've been driving it around a bit, so the temperature is warmed up. It's the ammeter again. Warm idle oil pressure. These gauges are always slow to react. It's still creeping up a little bit. And of course, the fuel gauge, which is working. Got the horn. I'll show you the lights working here. Pull the switch out. Driver side tail light. Got the plate light. Passenger side tail light. You can see it's a six volt car. You can see the headlights are on, although they are not bright, as is typical of a six volt vehicle. And you can see the light is on. Go ahead and show you the turn signals now. Driver side rear. Driver side front. Passenger side rear. Passenger side front. I'm going to go ahead and pop the hood for you too. Very presentable flathead V8. 
radiator here, good shape. Very quiet, smooth running engine. We got the generator, idler pulley on the fan. Of course, these uh, flathead boards had two water pumps, one on the pass driver's passenger side, and another on the driver's side. This car really is a pleasure to drive. It's got a wonderful seating position. It's a great size. It drives smooth down the road. I can say sometimes when you get into these old cars, they just feel right and have a wonderful charm to them. And this is one of those cars. There you have it. Please feel free to contact us at MotorlandAmerica.com. Thanks for watching.